hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome and i hope you are doing well so in today's video i'm going to be making a short crochet wig with um bangs so with that said let's jump right into the video so right here i'm just going ahead to show you guys the items you will need to make this beautiful crochet wig so for today's video i'm going to be using one pack of braiding hair this is the hair right here and so i'm going to be cutting the braiding hair into five equal length okay so next i'm going to be pulling on the ends of the hair to thin the hair out So right now I'm going in with a hairbrush to brush the hair through to make sure it's tangle free. So I took out a little bit of hair as you can see right there. I'm going to be using that, um, that for the bangs. So next I'm going ahead to place the, the cap on the mannequin head also I'm pinning it down. Right here, I'm going ahead to place the lace where I want it to sit. So next, I'm going to be using a concealer to mark where the lace will be. I'm just going to be marking around the lace area. So now that that is done, I'm going to be working on the black cap. So right here, I'm going to be using the regular crochet hook. So this is the amount I'm going to be using for each um, crocheted braid. I'm starting by crocheting the hair along the edge of the black cap, as you can see right here. So you want to crochet it close to the edge as much as you can. And also when crocheting the hair, you want to make sure that the next one you place on top, the next one you crochet on top falls in between the space on the bottom. So to space out the hair on the black cap, you can either skip two holes or three depending on the amount of hair you are using. So the space you give depends on the amount of hair you are using for each crochet, okay? So next, I'm going to be cutting the hair I'm going to be using for the bangs. So right now, I'm just going ahead to cut it. And um, I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to be pulling on the ends to thin the hair out and also to give it a little bit of length. So doing the same thing, I'm starting by crocheting the hair along the edge of the black cap. So here it is. So I just use that to mark out the yeah, where the bangs will start. So right now I'm going ahead to work on the rest of the uh, wig. So at this point, you need to reduce the amount of hair you are using because you don't want it to be too puffy in, uh, on the front. So you need to reduce the amount of hair you are crocheting. So I'm done with this part. I'm just going ahead to brush it. So you can see right there. See it's close to the edge of the cap. Mm 
okay so now i'm going to be ventilating the hair using um a tiny crochet lash hook so this is the hook right here so to ventilate the hair i'm passing the crochet uh, the crochet hook through the lace so next i'm going to be hooking two strands of hair there you go so i hook two strands of hair pull it through using the crochet hook i hook the hair and pass it through the loop so i'm doing the single knot method so the link to everything i use in this video is in the description box down below so check the description box if you want to uh, get any of this stuff the links are in the description box down below and also i have a separate video showing you guys how to properly use the crochet hook to ventilate uh closure lace frontal wig you know so that link is also in the description box down below okay so moving on to the next step i'm going to be sewing down the round lace closure to the black cap so i've already went ahead and pin it down so next i'm going to be going in with the uh, with my needle and thread to secure the lace to the crochet wig cap okay so now that that is done it's time for me to finish up crocheting the hair on the black cap as you can see right here i reduced the amount of hair i use close to the um, the lace area So next I'm going to be going in to cut out the black cap under the lace. So you want to be careful when doing this, take your time to gently cut out the black cap under the lace. Okay, so moving on to the next step, I'm going to be cutting and trimming the wig. First, I'm starting with the uh, bangs and I'm going to be cutting in about uh, four inches. Right there. So I'm just going ahead to trim and cut it to my liking. So here's how the wig is looking so far. So moving on to the next step, I'm going in with a razor comb and I'm going ahead to trim the hair short. So I'm just... And also I'm adding some layers to the hair. So that's why I'm using the uh, razor comb. So this is the result after trimming it short. Beautiful. So right here, I'm going ahead to add some coils to the bottom of the, uh, the crochet hair. Just a little bit of wave on the tip. I'm doing that using uh, a flat iron and also I set the flat iron to uh, a very low heat. So 
happen you want to make sure to do a little test on a little piece of hair before going ahead to use it on your wig you want to make sure the temperature is right for the hair So this is the result after coiling the tip of the uh, of the hair. So here is the wig on me. Beautiful. Okay guys, so we've come to the end of today's video. As always, if you find this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. And also, if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. And uh, I'll see you all in my next video.